Hello guys, welcome to a new video where I'm going to build a website to build a social network step by step from Search Dilemma, Software Architect. In the video of today, I'm going to explain the React components, how to render this login form, and how to make requests to a backend server. You can find the GitHub project in the videos in the description. But before starting, remember to subscribe to my YouTube channel to never miss a video. Let's start with the project I've created in my last video. It's an empty project. First of all, clean the app component, which was created by default with the project. Now I will create a folder where I will have all the components of the project. I create another folder with the name of the component. Let's say login, which will handle the login form and display and inside the GS and CSS files. Here is the folder structure of my project, the index GS to start the navigation and the components of my web page in separated folders. Now let's create our login component. and export it. Now that it is created and exported, let's use it in the index.js. Let's run the application to see what it is rendered. Nothing is displayed, but we have our web page ready to accept modifications. And the best part is that all the modifications done will be directly rendered without any restart, any refresh. So let's go now with the HTML and CSS to create a beautiful login form. Let's start with a div for the background and the style that all the web page will generate. As I want all the website to generate from it, I will create it in the index.js. Here it is, nothing very new from before, but all these new items will be useful for later. Let's go now with the sign in form. I want the possibility to sign in for new users and sign up for existing users. So I will have a form in the center of my screen with two tabs, one for sign in and the other for the sign up. I'm gonna start with the main div which will contain both the tabs and the login form. I will create now another div to handle the tabs between the sign link and the sign link.
for the behavior to switch between tabs, we will see it later. Let's continue with the forms. One B for the sign name. With the form inside. And one B for the sign up. With the form inside. Which fields will I need for both? For the sign in, I only need the login and password. And at the end, the button. And from the sign up, first name, last name, login, and password. Then at the end, the button. Ok, done. Forms ready. Next step, the switch tab behavior. I'm gonna start with the constructor, where I set the state of the component. Which will contain all the fields that can be sent to the backend. This way, when a button is clicked, I just have to take all what's in the state and send it to the backend. This also means that every time I edit an input box, I have to edit the state. Let's now add to the input boxes the onChange function. And finally, add the onChange handler. As I've named all the input boxes with the same name as the state variables, now when a change occurs, I can use the name of the input box as the name of the variable to update its value. Ok, but this doesn't make the tabs to switch. Let's add another field to the state in the controller. And now on an onclick event in the tabs which redirect to a function. I add class names to the package JSON to be available in the React project and can use it here to convert a list of names into the class name. And remove the corresponding form when selecting the tab.
This way, when clicking on a tab, I set the state of the tab to be shown, and I will use the property of React that when the state changes, it will render only the part of the component which is managed by the property of the state which changes. I use this variable into the class name of the tabs, and I also added another property, selected, which will be added when tab to show is equal to the corresponding tab, and finally hide the form which is not present at each tab. Let's see the result. Without any refresh, no restart. Awesome. But all of this is not sexy. Let's add some more CSS. Let's start with the submit button. With the form, and the inputs. I think this gets pretty now. I'm gonna leave this way. Final step, send the data to the backend when submitting the forms. As the endpoints are different and the data to be sent is different, I have to create two functions for the unsubmit event. Let's add prevent defaults to prevent React to inform the browser to load the page. I will do it my way. I first verify that all the mandatory variables are set. And inside, I will use Axios to make the request to the backend. So, when submitting any of the forms, a request to the backend will be made with the correct information to the correct URL. But what about the response of those requests? What if any return an error? What to do when the request is correctly handled? When receiving a correct response, I should redirect to the home page of the website. But as I don't have any other page than the login page, I will leave this part for another video. I will just leave the place empty. On the other side, if I receive an error, I won't print it in the form to be shown to the user that something wrong happened. So first I will create a place to print the error message.
the message will only appear if there is an error message, if message error is not empty. So I've initialized it empty in the constructor and have to add the error message when receiving it. Okay, seems to have a pretty good login. Let's recap. In the index.js, I've added the main HTML tag with the common CSS style which is present in the index CSS. Then I've created the login component. The login form is split in two parts. One for signing the existing users and one to sign up the new users both in separated tabs. To switch between the tabs, I use a variable in JavaScript. As I have two forms, I have two submit forms. Both use ages to send a request to the backend. If I receive a current response, I will redirect to another page. If I receive an error, I set the error message into a state variable which will be displayed in the form. I'm gonna leave it this way for today. I will continue with the React routers and layouts in another video. If you like it, I would appreciate a thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel to never miss a video. Bye.